News Talk 99.7 WNTK, WNTK WNTK.com, News Talk 98.9, 1490, WUVR. Look who's here, Dr. Sam from Dr. Sam's Eye Care on Dunning Street in Claremont and also in Hanover on Dorrance Place, right behind Yama, right there in the same building. We're going to talk about giving the gift of sight this holiday season. Dr. Sam, it just it sounds funny to say good to see you. You know, it's a... (laughs) It, well, it is, number one, because I can see you. And, uh, you know, number two, it's one of those cliches that you use, but it's like, gee, we're talking to Dr. Sam from the Eye Care Guy, and we're talking about good to see you. Listen, in the spirit of the season of giving, uh, one of the things that uh, we want to talk to you about is a program that the Lions Club has that maybe not a lot of our WNTK listeners know about. Good morning, John. Yeah, you're right. It's uh, it's difficult to get away from uh, vision analogies. It's uh, It often sounds like we're trying to... T- tell upon. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Put yeah. those subliminal messages in. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, we, we were thinking about talking about the Lions Club today. Uh, Lions Club is something that's very close to our hearts at Dr. Sam's Eye Care, where uh, we participate in the Lions Club. I'm actually currently serving as the president of the, the Claremont Lions Club. And uh, it uh, perhaps does resonate a little bit more at the holidays. There's, uh, there's a lot of good services that the Lions Club does. Our uh, maybe you'd say signature uh, mission is to is to uh, help people with vision care issues. Uh, we do a lot of other things too, um, concerned with the environment, with uh, having the world become uh, closer together. Uh, our mission includes promoting uh, awareness and peace between cultures. Uh, a lot of things that Lions Club does. And the Lions Club, of course, uh, promoting vision health, as you just mentioned, and making it possible for a lot of people who need that help with their vision and can't afford it to, uh, you know, get glasses, get that eye care that they so desperately need. Right. Uh, we do that within our communities. We do it on a global scale uh, and everywhere in between. There's uh, uh, you know, on the big scale, we have uh, Lions Club International Foundation, which is uh, helps people to get cataract surgery, deal with communicable diseases, river blindness, trachoma, other blinding diseases around the world that uh, a lot of which happen more in tropical climates. Uh, but there are, you know, of course, billions of people who in the world who need and do not have access to that sort of care. Uh, you get down to the local level uh, here in Claremont, we we do. Uh, we help people who are in need with uh, getting eye exams and glasses. We we do that for local people, and uh, there, there's a great organization called Service Link, which is uh, uh, runs in in Sullivan County, which helps us with uh, getting people in who are who have those needs. Uh, we also uh, work with the Lions Club to we this year we started screening every uh, as far as consent goes every every kindergartner offered a screening to every kindergartner in Claremont and got most of them in uh, so that we can see if they have any vision issues. We ended up with uh, screening I think 103 kids uh, who were in the kindergarten class and uh, ended up with about 13 percent of them uh, going on to be referred for eye exams for various problems that were uncovered. And so this falls under the Sight for Kids umbrella with uh, not only the, the Lions Club but also Lions Club International. Right. Uh, and uh, so that Lions Club provided that with us. And uh, we also work with, of course, we've talked about before, the, the uh, Infant C program, trying to get kids in for, you know, hopefully all kids can get their, their eyes checked when they're very young. Uh, even four to six months old is a great time for a first eye exam. Uh, Lions Club also does other things. We, uh, we plant trees. We have... Uh, uh, community awareness programs, we, we uh, help with recycling programs, all kinds of things that, uh, yeah, some fun stuff. Dr. Sam's joining us this morning from Dr. Sam's Eye Care in Claremont, of course, at Dunning Street, right behind Valley Regional Hospital, and also in Hanover, which is right behind Yama in the same building. That's number two, Doran's Place, and today we're talking about uh, Dr. Sam's involvement with uh, Lions Club International and, of course, the Claremont Lions Club, and they went in and screened some 103 children, and um, a number of which uh, had some uh, vision problems. So now, will those children get uh, free care under the Lions Club? How does that work? What's the next step for those kids? Well, uh, the next step for them is that the report goes to the school nurse, yeah. and the school nurse communicates with the parents. If uh, and and the school nurses are instructed to 
uh, let us know if there appears to be any kind of a financial okay. issue that needs to be taken care of there. If they have insurance, great. They can yeah. just you know go and use their insurance, or if they're capable of paying for themselves, that's fine too. You know, families. you know. Speaking of Lions Club, uh, I have seen from time to time, um, and it's usually in a mall or a large shopping center. You will see, donate your eyeglasses here to the Lions Club. I mean, that's uh, that. It's not only going green, but certainly helping somebody else. Right. That's uh, that's a huge project that the Lions Club's been doing for a long time. It actually costs the Lions Club about eight cents because most of the work is volunteer work that goes into this. But about eight cents to get a pair of glasses that was donated to us to uh, get those to somebody who needs them. And generally, these are people in third world countries, other countries that all, mm-hmm. these, all these donated eyeglasses go to. Uh, but that's, you know, millions and millions of pairs of eyeglasses are going all the time. So those are, they're, they're recycled and uh, you take a look at, uh, you know, the lenses in them and you just, you get them ready for the next person. Right. Uh, they're, they're classified as to, you know, whether they're basically for farsighted people, nearsighted people, have bifocals, et cetera. Um, and so they're given to people who they're quite appropriate for, although maybe not the accuracy that you'd expect in this country, sure. uh, but certainly incredibly helpful for people who have nothing else. You know, until we uh, spend time and talk about issues like this with Dr. Sam from Dr. Sam's Eye Care in Claremont and Hanover, you you are amazed. Dr. Sam was telling me before we went on the air, this is what, according to the World Health Organization, 150 million people around the globe have some kind of uncorrected vision problem? I think that's even a very conservative estimate. That's uh, that There are, are perhaps many, many more people than that who just are having functional problems uh, because of uncorrected refractive errors because they need a pair of glasses and they don't have them. And, uh, and of course, you know, lots of other problems, as we mentioned, with sure. you know, eye health problems, too. Lions Club has a very uh, proud history and kind of an interesting fact there is uh, Lions Club was started in 1917, and, uh, and they had a convention in 1925 where Helen Keller was invited to be the speaker. Uh, and she, it, the Lions Club did not have, uh, did not have this mission at the time. And she challenged the Lions Club to become the, uh, I believe she called it the Knights of the Blind on a crusade, crusade against darkness. And, uh, since then we have taken up that mantle. Wow. That's amazing. Dr. Sam from Dr. Sam's Eye Care here. And if you have some old eyeglasses that you would like recycled, you have those boxes for the Lions Club at both locations on Dunning Street in Claremont and also in Hanover. We do. We collect quite a few glasses there. That's good. And of course, Dr. Sam has got more information on the website at drsams.com. And um, I'm sure you've got a lot of things as well, both in Claremont and Hanover. If somebody wants to, we've been talking about giving the gift of sight, but in, you know, in, in the big picture, if I want to get someone, some new frames, I can come in and just arrange that with you and thus the Christmas gift and then the person can come in and and, uh, avail themselves of it. Of course. And uh, and, and something else that's important too is, uh, you know, of course the Lions Club needs money also. Uh, We we love to get glasses donated and that's a great thing. If anybody's got glasses they can donate, terrific. Um, That's very helpful for us. Money is also helpful with running these operations. And, uh, and Virtually all the money that gets donated from, uh, I think actually all the money that gets donated from uh, the public is ends up going to direct services for people. That's great. If you go on the Dr. Sam's website, yep. uh, we have a link on there to the Claremont Lions Club. So if anyone's interested in there donating during the holiday season, donating some money either right there. themselves or, <clears throat> or as a gift to a friend, uh, you can just go on a link and and uh, make a donation through PayPal. DrSamsEyeCare.com. Thank you, Dr. Sam.